Welcome to the Goods from the Woods. My name is Rivers Langley. I'm Sam Harder. And joining us on Mike 3, uh, Carter's down there in the state of Tennessee, so we got our friend. Oh, it's me. It's Joe K. Well, I'm back for more poison. Yeah, hell yeah. And our guest today, uh, my co-commentator at Wrestling Pro Wrestling, hilarious comedian, and my friend, Eric Barnes. Hello, y'all. Hey. Welcome back. Oh, uh, man. This good is, to be uh, in disgrace land. Yeah, this is a, this is a good night. We, uh, we've got some coffee going. We got uh, four glasses in front of me and a very curious concoction i'm just going straight out the fucking gate yeah. because oh yeah i <laughs> okay this is the drink okay. this is not an energy drink well i guess in a way it is it's a it's a classic energy drink because it, it does contain caffeine but not like a it just contains calories that's yeah, how it's energy exactly and and this is Sugar. the this is the drink yeah. that is uh, currently tearing apart the soda community uh <laughs> okay. There, okay. there's a soda community uh, yeah so i, I saw this it. uh i i woke up this Who, i woke up the comp <laughs> In the soda <laughs> Dr. Pepper. <laughs> there he goes. Yeah. I thought I thought he was the Surgeon General, Dr. Pepper. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Yeah. Aloysius Pepsi. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mr. A, Mr. Pib. Oh, Mr. Pib. Yeah. Mr. Pib. Yeah. I thought he was treasurer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it was Dr. Wham, but he was uh, he was you know he, he got he had uh, his just, license taken yeah, away. He got defrocked as a doctor. Mm-hmm. Uh, but uh, no, I, so I uh, saw this uh, this morning. I woke up early to go to Ralph's and get some uh, get some pork butt. Uh, to make some uh, pulled pork situation, and I was right next to the register, and I I saw a familiar sight, but it was uh, it was a little curious, and uh-huh. uh, so I, I picked it up and gave it a closer examination, uh-huh. and of course, this is the new space flavored Coca Cola. Uh-huh. Oh, uh, cool. The rumors are true. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's called Starlight Limited Edition, and then on the side it simply says space flavored so so it tastes like the void now well, i would like it to be, go on record that hilariously i because i know you love bullshit novelty uh-huh, drinks yep and i literally bought a can of Coke <laughs> with me <laughs> yeah, man i yeah. hope this is good because we got a shitload of it now yeah, yeah but yeah like i said i haven't i haven't tasted this yet i haven't sampled it so it's red uh, it is i just r- want to point out space is not red yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. as far as i know yeah it's also I'm not colorblind. brown cola colored either. that's true no, that's yeah. true but uh it looks like someone dr- like <laughs> someone's like oops i cut my finger into the coca-cola <laughs> <laughs> and there's maybe more blood than coke yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well so uh you know I, uh, I I haven't tasted this yet, but I did get curious about it, so I, I couldn't help myself. I was like, I'm I'm, I'm going to fight the urge to open this thing, uh, so we could try it on the show. But I, I do want to look it up because what the fuck is space flavored? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so apparently a few years ago there was like a study that came out that said that if we were to be jettisoned into outer space the millisecond before we die, your mouth would taste like raspberries. Like that's a what? like that's a thing that scientists uh, apparently announced that space like the open void of outer space tastes like raspberries. How did they test this? <laughs> Fuck if I know. I don't know. It's like how they know they, that you they know sent condemned prisoners wait, to space. Be I'm... like, what's your mouth taste like? Go say it before this you run out of air. Like the doctor who invented Jinkum <laughs> <laughs> came up with this fact. <laughs> I'm, obsessed. <laughs> I'm obsessed with that as a concept. Yeah. Yes, but I want to die in space. Yeah, I mean, right? Space death. Oh, space, death. Yeah, space death. Space love... death. Yeah, space tastes like Smuckers. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Uh, but like I was thinking, I was like, well, the flavor like space, it has to be good. <laughs> well, like I was thinking, like, is that truly the taste of space, or is that the taste of Death. every blood vessel in your body exploding <laughs> simultaneously and DMT hitting your brain? Hey, that's kind of fun, though. So yeah, that's, your blood that... tastes like raspberries when you die. <laughs> right? Yeah. Hey, you know. So well, this is space death flavored soda. Well, so this is the point of conjecture, right? So there are people saying like, oh, it's raspberries, right? But they're already if you've been to a movie theater with the coke freestyle you know there's coke raspberry you know coke they're not like. redoing that right. this is a limited edition flavor yeah. mm-hmm. so uh the coca-cola brand i, I have my theory us. on yeah. what the flavor okay this is. so so what we'll do we're gonna we're gonna crack it we'll taste it and then i'll tell you uh what, what i think and then i'll also tell you what everybody else was saying so May I make a prediction see. yes it's gonna taste like coca-cola mixed with that red barrel drink the red oh like the, the oh the the, 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 the little grenades yes. or quarter yeah. water <laughs> quarter water yes. 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 yes 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 yeah uh, I think we figured that out we used to drink when we were five right um, I, I yeah. think we figured out on the show that those are literally called something 
everywhere around the country because I was they were always called grenades in Alabama, yeah, yeah, yeah. but he knew them as quarter waters. Yeah, like, I, yeah, I know. So they, I think yeah, quarter water definitely is something that was said. And I remember those being spiked, and you'd buy them at uh, like at the parade at Pride. Like that's how you're really like, Ooh, oh, that's you're ever to be like in seventeen and illegally <laughs> nah, drinking in the city. You'd in, buy quarter waters off the street that yeah. had like vodka. I was gonna say some guy with yeah. a fucking yeah. syringe just like injecting. Nah, I, I literally <laughs> think that it's wow. what it had to be. Yeah, because the, the 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 foil was still on the top. Right, when right. Buy them. <laughs> oh, good. So. <laughs> see, good old, see, good old boys in Ohio. We would just take that stuff and or Kool Aid and mix it in with Everclear because we just didn't Lovely. give a shit. Oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, wow, yeah. you in just Oregon. wanted to die. <laughs> oh yeah, well you know this is what happens with good Christian people that don't know what beer is, but they just want to get blitzed and in, uh, in front of their parents. So here we go. Do. All right, here we go. Let's uh, let's open this some bitch. Oh, I love it. Oh damn it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> 360 fizz. Yeah. That one. I wonder what that's gonna sound Erectile like. Erectile dysfunction <laughs> compared to the normal. <laughs> Okay. You could probably get a better wow, sound off the can. It's so funny that it like I've like... definitely drank this multiple times and had no idea it looked like this because I'm drinking it out oh, of the really? can. Oh, really? Yeah. Huh. I figured it'd have like it, a red tint to it. It, it. it looks, okay, after, upon pouring, it looks like cranberry juice. I was going to say, it looks like cheer wine, actually. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Maybe it is cheer wine. Yeah, um, ooh. You know what? Well, let's uh, let's give it a smells, try. It smells kind of like Cheers, Coke. Cheers, y'all. Yeah, it very much smells like Coke. It's It actually smells like vanilla Coke. It does. It tastes weird as hell. Ugh. Yeah, that is weird. But I it tastes like nothing, and then battery acid, and then thick. nothing it's, again. It's thick. My, I, <laughs> it's thick. I would describe yeah, it as. Yeah, yeah. When I tried this the first time, I thought it was kind of like cotton candy, almost like that artificial cotton candy flavor. But now, our run, me and my partner's running theory is that it's Coke mixed with the butt of every flavor. A little vanilla, yeah. a little cherry, a little orange. They wash little... out the nozzles in a yes. big vat. Yeah. Yes. I wouldn't be shocked if that's what this was. Well, yeah. well let me let me tell you what like the, the what... zap chips voodoo flavor. Yeah. 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 It's, yeah. it's a suicide. Yeah. It's a it's a, it a is. package it's suicide. suicide code. Yeah. It's suicide, man. This is suicide, my man. Shout out to Rod. Uh so the consensus online is that if this is true, this actually goes right in line with what I've said about Coca-Cola before, which is that many times when they attempt to do a new kind of flavor like this, they do it half ass. Mm. Like Coca-Cola with orange. They promoted that very, very heavily in the oh, summer yeah. of 2019. And you try it and there's not that much orange in it. Oh, You're like, yeah. dude, do it or don't. I was like, really? You yeah. know, no yeah. half measure. I will say I, I always, always a fan of uh, what like the first time they went out with that or not maybe the first time, but like the first time I consciously remember when they do like the Diet Coke with lemon or the Diet Coke, yeah. with, lime. Diet Coke with lime. Yeah, that was those a great were thing. really good. Oh, I yeah. remember yep. those being delicious and still to this day. I was going to say when you go to the I movie theater. It, yeah, yeah. I, the Diet Coke with lemon. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Ooh, black, um, black cherry Coke Zero. Oh, oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah. Well, so uh, the soda community th- seems to think that this flavor is either a toasted marshmallow or a s'more. Bullshit. Flavored. You don't Sorry. think so? Try hit it. Hit it again. Let's see if you can. Because I can kind of taste the attempt Even at a marshmallow smell, thing. I can, I can smell the marshmallow. I can see what you're. Doing. And you can almost Ooh. taste a little of like the kind of graham cracker sort of taste to it a little bit. I don't know. I the maybe it's because I cinnamon mm, sugar. Yeah, maybe it's because I read this just, like right I, before we started. I just but. taste the sugar part. Well, sure. Yeah. So it's, yeah. So <laughs> I, I think we're trying to associate flavor with the sugar, Look, and that's all that marshmallow is essentially. I have so. a bad vice with sugars. I'm mean, uh, with soda, so I am like a soda person, and uh-huh. I can definitely like. You remember the soda community? Yeah, I remember, I remember the show that could be made. <laughs> well, and that would also sort of explain the name because you tend to eat uh, s'mores yes, at a under campfire the underneath the stars, you know. So I, that's I, I like that, but I don't, uh, I don't think that's I'm the case. Still getting, I don't, I don't I'm know. still getting cotton candy. I think candy. Eric's got a good theory here about it just tasting like sugar. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, no, that's fair. But exactly fair, why I'm saying it, cotton candy, because what is cotton candy if not just yeah, sponge? Yeah, fair, fair, fair. Can, I think candy it, floss. I mean, for me, candy it, floss. I'm probably not tasting the s'more because I'm I'm one of those guys that just puts the marshmallow in the fire, so mm. there's none of that charred, woody smokiness oh, to the flavor a, either. I will say it's starting to get like when when you're like at a Lush or a Bed Bath and Body Works or something, and you and but but you just start smelling too many things, so by the end everything just smells like. Right. Right. It exactly. tastes the same. It, it, now it just tastes like sugar well, soda. Like ta- that it, first sip is like, oh, what is that? And then the more you drink it, you're like, I don't know what it is. Yeah, you 
like my yeah, my it, tongue is now thick. It tastes the way that <laughs> fruity <laughs> shampoo smells. Yes. <laughs> yeah, this is white rain and strawberry. This is this is L'Oreal Kids strawberry cream shampoo. <laughs> Hurt plus, baby. No more tears. Yeah. Well, what, what do we say? A shout out to our friend Paul in the UK, keeping track of all this uh, bullshit. I wonder if they've got it. Paul, tweet at us. Have they got this in the UK yet? I, I need Probably to know. Not. I mean, I will say out of the three concoctions I've tried in this segment <laughs> on this show, this is the best I one. was going to say, well, yeah, go, you know. Yeah, this, uh, uh, thank you for being kind <laughs> about my return. You know, last week was terrible. <laughs> yeah, oh, last, no, well, uh, oh, uh, uh, <laughs> it was called Jocko Discipline. Oh. <laughs> it was made by an internet Those marine. Those two words should not go together. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They, Jocko they, Discipline? They shouldn't go with a drink either. Yeah, it was, it, <laughs> was it made by a punishment clown? <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's, basically. It's, yes, <laughs> actually, yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, it was a uh, inter- just a oh, sweaty you? himbo killer yeah. clown. Yes, hundred oh, percent. With the holding with, a paddle, saying you've been acting up lately. <laughs> I've still got another Jocko uh, because the knees pledge. They, yeah. they were two for five bucks. I still have another Jocko discipline in my uh, in my fridge, but I'm like, ugh, it's yeah, too it's gross. Gonna be a cold rainy day before that gets cracked. Yep, yep, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just the names of these things. It's just really. Uh, I mean, I still, I'll never get over confidence. Oh yeah, I'll never get over that. confidence is the best. Yeah, I remember never, hearing that episode. Ever get over that? Yeah, because I nearly you because you were hearing your friend nearly die. I on know. My I felt bad. Yeah. You, yeah. you were witness. You were audibly <laughs> witnessing my insides being set on fire. Mm. Yeah. I went by that gas station, which is still the only place I've ever seen the confidence. Is the gas station next to the Getty Center? <laughs> um, Great. And I went by there, and there's still two left. Oh, good. And I and if I had to if I had to make a bet, if I was a betting man, those are the last two cans of that on earth oh, right there 100 percent and they're probably and still there yeah, yeah they we, probably are. The, the sky will open up and we will all learn that we were the chosen ones <laughs> yeah uh, the 25 of us on earth that jesus comes again. back who has has partaken in the confidence, <laughs> the confidence. <laughs> who has partaken in the adaptogens of confidence? yeah the adaptogens. <laughs> it's to adapt to jesus's well, kingdom yeah, yeah that's, yep that's what we're yeah. adapting to you were baptized in confidence <laughs> to share this because uh it is uh fucking insane as you might imagine from this person but uh sure. this is uh a music video that was just released uh oh, yesterday yes. okay uh <laughs> by uh yeah. actor former child star uh cory feldman Oh, uh, who I think we've talked about his music on the show before, but now he's taking his fake Michael Jackson act more in a, like a hip hop direction. Uh, so, I oh no! The, did I ever tell you about the Corey Feldman theme birthday party we had at the Good Night? I one. need to hear everything. Uh, so it was one of the former uh, karaoke hosts, Alyssa. She's like the Corey Feldman number one fan since she was like you know a, a kid. Yeah, uh, and so for I think it was her thirtieth birthday, we had a full Corey Feldman themed. <laughs> Part where we were all like we're dressed up and shit, and, Lost and Boys, very, yeah, Goonies, Lost Boys, Goonies, all, all of that. <laughs> Stand uh, by and me. we reached out to him to come to the party. And I, when I tell you, he actually did respond to us saying, <laughs> "I have a show in Vegas that night, but if I were in LA, I would have definitely come." And I, then he gave us a video message for her. Oh, oh okay. okay. It means he would have fucking. I oh, think okay. he's one hundred percent. What else has he got going on? Yeah, yeah. He, I think he's a pretty big narcissist. <laughs> oh yeah. 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 In this video we're about to see. But at least, oh, buddy, <laughs> have you watched this, Sam? Yeah. I've oh, seen it. fantastic! I haven't, now, seen, this I haven't yet. seen the video, but uh, <laughs> due to that story, I think he's at least a nice narcissist. Yeah. A yeah. nice assistant? Yeah. Or well, if, you're talk- assist. if you're talking to him about his self, I, I think yeah. it goes pretty good. It already looks like it's from the 80s. Well, and so I should I should mention that uh, the, the song is called Comeback King, and he's uh, backed up on this track by Curtis Young. Uh, do, y'all know, okay. do y'all know who that is? I don't know who that is. No. Curtis Young is Dr. Dre's 40-year-old son. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Oh, so, wow. uh, so, And you're really going to, you're definitely going to hear the uh, kind of oh, influence no. of, uh, of Dr. Dre on this uh, on this track and it really does answer the question you know it gives us a uh, a bad simulation of what would what would it be like if michael jackson was still alive in 2022 mm. <laughs> oh does it have the compton whistle of course you bet it does what time it is okay it's a comeback 
If you have to comment, tell me to pause whenever. Wow. <laughs> no, I just want to. This might be. I don't want to. Mm, whatever. It's. I don't want to. Whoever wants to come okay. for me for okay. saying this. He looks like Juliette Lewis transitioning yes. to being a man. Yeah. Like, it's what not, if Juliette Lewis were to come out as a trans man? Yeah. This yeah. Is How old is Corey Feldman? Because this see. looks like the most teenager thing. Oh, about. yeah. Because it's opening this up is... on a guy getting bullied and be like, oh, I'm falling for the old high low. Corey, oh. Corey Feldman's 50. Yeah. Okay. Okay. The yeah, big yeah. five oh. The big five oh. Uh, okay, let's, let's, yeah, let's, keep let's keep going. Let's keep going. Oh. Keep going. Yeah. Oh. How do, what do you think of his Michael Jackson impersonation? <laughs> I mean, spot on. You're a beautiful soul, but no one knows it. We all have sadness and moments that we lost. Uh, it's when we must look inwards, show them who is boss. <laughs> I'm the comeback, comeback king. <laughs> Michael Jackson got away, wow. and I don't mean in his personal life, I mean in his music. He got away with a lot of his uh, idiosyncrasies because he had a great voice. But when you strip that, uh, that you know, uh, that voice that his father beat into him, and you just have a, 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 50, a 50 year old actor going, dun, 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 dun. it's like, oh. Oh, it doesn't work. The plot of this music video. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's a plot. I, well, the plot is this. <laughs> The most yes. milk toast mayonnaise looking man. <laughs> man, monkey, man. not kid. Man. A man. A 30 something man. Yeah, that's, something that's man. a man. That is a man. Getting that's a man. Getting Maury. the most junior high bullying yeah. from he got a he got a scrape on his arm, Eric. He got a scrape on his arm from being high load, and in this one, he's like, "I'm going to take my trash out." Oh, he moved the can, and I dropped the bag on the street. Oh, my. Uh, just please let's not pause this again because no, I don't no. want to prolong this. Oh, that's anymore. that's fair. Plus, plus we got Dr. Dre's forty year old son coming up. Yeah, I can't wait. I mean, that's got to be more exciting. It is. It than is. Watching this white woman at Pilates. <laughs> In, in a house of mirrors? Yeah, I was going to say, sir, you're going to have to step away from the window. It curves. Uh, <laughs> Ma'am, this is a fun house. I'm going to train it by <laughs> boxing. Oh, oh, here he comes. Here's Curtis. King's arrival. Palm branches that regal title. Young disciple. Legend talking. DB rivals. Royal blueprint. Activating the truth. That's Dave Chappelle. <laughs> oh, my God. Bye. Now, I'm not. I'm, I am not being racist. Racist, it's just Dave Chappelle. No, you're not wrong. <laughs> Look, yeah, uh, there was a great moment where uh, Curtis is uh, rhyming, and uh, uh, Corey Feldman appears behind him from nowhere with a pillow that's got a, a drink of some kind on it. Yeah. <laughs> mind you, crown. Also, yeah. mind you, not young Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle today. Oh, here they comes the similar shaped skull for sure. <laughs> Here's the dance segment. Oh, Joe, are you sure this is a white woman at Pilates or just a skeleton that came to life from the trailer <laughs> video? <laughs> yeah, this is <laughs> yeah, this is a Walt Disney animation from the 20s. <laughs> and there, there's like a plot of a guy boxing. Oh, he's somebody. getting his revenge by boxing these bullies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's the oh. plot of Karate Kid, but, you know, whiter. Yeah. Oh, here's oh the... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The breakdown. The, oh, my God. No. Him having to slowly get down to the floor. Yeah, as yeah. As opposed to, like, doing, like, yeah. a, a move that gets you <laughs> they there. They should have got to, a stunt double. He had to crawl. One. He had to get on his knees and be like, I gotta get on the floor now. Oh, boy. His skull is trying to escape his body. <laughs> oh, yeah. so. oh, oh, great. Doing a raptor walk. Fantastic. Yeah, you gotta do the raptor He's walk. He's trapped, guys. <laughs> Well, he's, he's, he's trapped Joe. in a box. He's a Joe, he's trying man. to open the door and trying to get on the floor. Uh, <laughs> he's trying to walk the dinosaur. Man, this like 35-year-old is still getting his ass kicked. Yeah. He's 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 not even winning his he's a comeback fucking match. Loser. <laughs> uh, My mouth's bleeding. I feel sort of bad about making fun of a drug addict that is clearly yeah. back on drugs. Yeah. But, uh, he's been hit in the pipe. No, I I'm sure. I I, making, I would say this 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 has all the hallmarks of like a two week uh, sobriety period of like no, I got a great I idea. Was say two week no, vendor. I typically don't make fun of looks but those looks are self-inflicted yeah, so right. yeah, yeah, yes he looks like a mess uh, yeah so anyway that's what uh that's what old cory feldman's up to i uh we couldn't even finish the oh no it's i mean it, Why it, would we? it goes on oh, from there. 
Yeah. Hey, hey, yeah. hey, not a complaint. Not a complaint. I'm like, if anything, I'm mad we didn't end it earlier. Yeah. yeah. I'm with Joe on this I'm one. I'm mad we got that far into it. But yeah, we'll uh, put that up on our uh, Twitter at the Good Spots so people can see it. But uh, <laughs> whether you like it or not. Whether you not, like it or not. You'll that's... be the only viewers of the video. <laughs> <laughs> that's what Corey Feldman's up to. Oh, wow. We're up. <laughs> we're up. Uh, yeah. I, he's at, he's at 500 at, views he's, within a week. He's sitting at uh, 210,000 views right now. So yeah, they're all from like oh, okay. oh, Reddit. That's actually remarkably sad. Yeah. <laughs> it's I probably mean, Reddit cringe. Uh, it's forum. sad. It's sad yeah. But imp- uh, is it bad that I find it sad but impressive? It's impressive. <laughs> I'm, I'm impressed. It's a little by... both, <laughs> yeah. as far as I'm concerned. Because he's not in the know. Like uh, this is how much did Curtis Young get paid? That's what I want. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't know. I mean, you know, they does probably Curtis Young something. know who Corey Feldman is? That or was a... this a thing? It's like uh, Corey Feldman said, "Hey, Doctor Dre, can you help me with this?" And he goes, "Uh, yeah. Hey, Curtis, can you do this for me?" <laughs> right, right. <laughs> his his manager's like, "Okay, Corey, we got Doctor Dre's son. Son, <laughs> <laughs> perfect. All right, all right. right non union Mexican gotta, equivalent. <laughs> yeah, all right, Curtis, I need you to. You're gonna need to do me this solid, and it's." <laughs> A big one. And and by the way, Dr. Dre's son is now going by his name, Curtis Young, but uh his uh former uh Dre. his former name, no, better, Hood Surgeon. The Hood Surgeon. <laughs> Which That's is a good uh, name, I like it. Yeah. Uh he couldn't go it. with R N Dre. I know, right? Yeah, yeah, right. Nurse R- practitioner yeah, Dre. Nurse practitioner. There you go. <laughs> Pharmacist Dre. Phlomotomist Dre. Dre. <laughs> Hood DDS. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Uh, Hood DDS. <laughs> Oh God! Yeah, he just looked at his son and said, "Son, this is for the trust fund. This is the golden key, kid. <laughs> you needed to face yourself by being in a glory I don't know why. Dr. Why? Dr. Why is that? that a, I, I don't know why that's a Doctor Dre impression, but I want it to be. Yeah, yeah I, I want it to be. Doctor Dre is a, a villain from a '30s Do- movie. Yeah, yeah. 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 Doctor yeah, Dre yeah. is a, has a little bit of Phyllis Diller in him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Phyllis Dre. <laughs> we know you've been stealing the money from the casino. You <laughs> see. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good way to have yourself whacked. I gin and juice, you old Dre. Gin and juice, you old poop. <laughs> now listen here, you big galoot. <laughs> I know it's 1999, but I'm going to call it 2001, and there's nothing you can say about it. Gad Zooks the Chronic. <laughs> it's murder, and murders don't come any neater. Smart, tricky, almost perfect, but I think Papa has it all figured out. So I've got an update. Chadburn, North Carolina, the former police chief of the town of Chadburn was arrested in April 2021 on 70 felony charges. So this is I that. This. Yeah. That, so uh, the video that we put up, I, I called him uh, North Carolina's over the top dirty cop. Anthony okay. Spivey uh, is the guy's name. Uh, and so just to catch y'all up and anybody else who didn't hear that episode. So he got arrested. He's facing uh, at this point, 70 felony charges. Uh, fucking insane. <laughs> including. Uh, larceny, obtaining property by false pretenses, trafficking in opiates by possession. He was also charged with stealing $8,000 from a cancer kid. Uh, He was initially held under a $1 million bond but was released after the bond was reduced to $400,000. He he did the thing all drug addicts talk about is long con themselves into a cop job and then steal all the drugs from the evidence (laughs) room. That's like literally what he did. Uh, Wow. And then he got arrested again. determined drug addict. That's what that is. (laughs) so he got you her- think you have addictions <laughs> <laughs> i became a police chief yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all cops are bastards and so am i yeah. <laughs> so he got arrested again and we talked about this the, the reason it popped up on my radar is because he did all that stuff you know stole all the guns drugs money from a cancer kid which it, you're just like this is just the most despicable motherfucker to yeah, the point that, where that yeah. kids make a wish was to be caught up in an episode of law and order yeah yeah, yeah exactly <laughs> uh and then he got arrested again uh because he stole two catalytic converters from the garage that he's been working at. <laughs> and Flew too and, close to the sun, young Icarus. And I got this uh, little detail. Apparently, he stole the catalytic converters during a Christmas party. <laughs> Uh, what? Which makes it so much funnier. Uh, like, oh, he's like, shit, oh. I didn't bring anything for the this, white elephant. And I'll tell you right now, I am so happy this man is not Jewish. Can you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine if he's like, oh, I'm going to ruin the Christmas party? Yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> the this is the best Grinch reboot I've I'm ever saying. heard. Yeah. The Grinch is real. Uh, but yeah, apparently they're having like a Christmas party at this fucking auto garage. And he's like, guys, I got to use the restroom. And then he goes in and he's just like, <laughs> sees two catalytic converters sitting there. He's like, that's pure platinum shit. And he just stuffs them in his pants like, well, I got to go. I got the shits. Oh, I got to go home. Too much eggnog. Go yeah, home. I got me a soupy dump. Got to take that. <laughs> out. Uh, so we covered the story on February 15th. And uh, Anthony Spivey was doing court on Monday, February 20th. 21st for a possible bond revocation which fair enough that's yeah. probably going to happen uh, and to face additional charges but then on Sunday February 20th with his options running out Anthony Spivey decided to do something drastic when interviewed by the local news longtime friend Harold Dean Sasser said that Spivey had been quote in a dark place for the past several weeks no. Sasser said that Spivey considered him to be a father, and he often confided in him and his wife. And Spivey served in the Marine Corps before becoming a police officer. Sasser said, quote, he told me not too long ago that he wished he was just back in Afghanistan. He said at least there he knew who was on his side. So, you know, this is like seems like pretty he's like he's going to a pretty dark spot. Yeah, yeah. I know who's on his side. The medics with the morphine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Sasser, uh, who's this father figure to Mr. Spivey, was watching a documentary on George Washington this last past Sunday. When okay. <laughs> what an important do? detail. <laughs> well, no, and I wanted to shout out, by the way, uh, the Columbus County News absolutely beautiful reporting on this great. by jefferson weaver and what a great name for jefferson weaver local reporter like it's perfect yeah. uh, <laughs> come on the show anytime you want. I, I know i did i did email him because i wanted clarification on one point he hadn't hit me back but uh, you know what, uh, like, maybe what we'll was the name of the documentary <laughs> <laughs> no no i there's two people it doesn't matter uh so uh he's watching a documentary on george washington oh, <laughs> cherry tree getting cherry tree yeah. Yeah. all that shit he's wooden teeth even though they were slaves teeth yes. yeah well they were both he had two sets yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, one where, was like the well, fine china. The yeah. No, literally. The fine yes. China. Well, yes. Rivers, Rivers, who do you think got the wood awful. for oh, those bad. teeth, Rivers? <laughs> that's fair. Who yeah. do you think got the wood for those teeth? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> it was it was Hood Surgeon DDS. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, so he's watching this documentary on George Washington when Spivey popped in his door and asked to borrow his truck. Quote, there was nothing unusual about that. I told him to go ahead. He said he would be gone for about half an hour. Around 8.30 p.m., Sasser said that he became concerned. He called Spivey's wife, Eve, and asked if Anthony was around. She <laughs> told drug me... drug dealer only lives five minutes away. <laughs> <laughs> he should be back by now. <laughs> Quote, she told me she hadn't seen him for a while, Sasser said. I was worried he'd broken down somewhere or his phone was dead. And uh, Sasser said that he then spent a couple hours riding around the area trying to find his truck to no avail. Quote, I knew he had court on Monday. And we had talked about that. I figured he'd gone down to the river just to clear his mind before court. On Monday morning, Sasser said that someone suggested that he look at the Sand Hills Hunting Club near Fair Bluff on the Lumber River. Quote, as soon as we got out of the trees, I said, hey, there's my truck. The pickup was backed up to the riverbank. Sasser said the tailgate was open. And uh, while a wildlife officer was calling for assistance, Sasser said that he spotted Spivey's boat some distance downstream, jammed up against a large tree. In the incident report filed by the sheriff's office, the first responders found a 22 rifle with one spent shell inside the boat. With tears in his eyes, Sasser vehemently defended the man that he said, quote, is a son to me. Or he was like my son. Anthony was not on drugs. Those charges are false. Anthony was a good man. Oh. He was in a bad place, a dark place. And those months in jail took something out of him. And everything in the news, on social media, all that stuff. He loved his family. He loved the Lord. He did a lot of good for people that nobody ever knew about. And this is just it's just hard to think that he's really gone. And when Sasser opened his truck, he found an envelope on the console. Quote, when I picked up the envelope and I saw that it said, to family, I just thought, oh, God, no. In a copy of the note obtained by the Columbus County News, Spivey wrote, quote, If you're reading this, I'm already gone. I've crossed the line over to the other side. My judgment day came today. Only God can judge me, not some corrupt judge or DA. They straight railroaded me. I'm not the monster they say I am. I can't beat the good old boy corrupt system they have here. The pain they have caused me is unreal, and I would do anything to take this pain away, so I made this choice. I made up my mind to die before I allow them to put me back in hell. And uh, so deputies were searching with uh, water rescue teams, tracking dogs, wildlife officers, a helicopter, ground search teams, all that uh, for three days, but they found no trace of the man. Mm. it's so sad you know i felt 
felt bad for uh, making fun of the guy, you know? God damn. I Isn't was that... like, well, th- what's the twist? He faked his I, death. I think he faked his death. It sounds like he might have faked his death. You know, I felt... They didn't find a body. <laughs> they didn't find a body. And I just, you know, it's kind of like the Joker. You're Did like... they hey. find blood next to the spent <laughs> shell yeah. and gun? Because that would definitely how, be How is it like the Joker, somehow? Rivers? Finish that thought. <laughs> uh, the Joker, uh, he's never truly dead. He, Batman, you know, knocks him off a building and you don't see him. And then he's back like five issues later. You know, <laughs> that's all comic book characters. Yeah, that's <laughs> what I'm saying. It's yeah. not Joker central. What's well, all of them? Like, yeah, you know, but when uh, Joker shows up with pill dust under his nose. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Did for you like see the? Ch- the Remember ch- that Batman story where the Joker <laughs> became chief of police and got them? <laughs> well, he was the ambassador to Iran at one point. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. that's how he got diplomatic immunity yeah, for right. killing Robin. Yeah, yeah, which I think they stole from Lethal Weapon too. <laughs> yes, they did. Uh, yeah, uh, but yeah. So uh, you know, I felt bad. I was like, damn. And there was, you know, I posted that video, and then somebody in the comments was like. Hey, you know, they're like looking for his body right now. And I was like, oh my God, that's fucking, oh man, I've. I, Dude, you know, if we find it. Think of how viral yeah, you actually yeah, go. And you guys are partially responsible. I blame you two. For <laughs> well, uh, yeah. What if he heard or, the podcast? Yeah, 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 that's yeah, what, yeah, He did say his critics on social media. So I was oh, like, damn, is this my fault? Oh, is there my God. is there blood on the hands of Harder Bay Mel and Langley? Well, yes. well, yeah, well yeah, probably, I'm, I'm not. So. Uh, I'm not actually finished. Uh, so while the search for Spivey was going on, investigators got a tip that something is fishy in the Lumber River. <laughs> <laughs> in an attempt to avoid an earlier court hearing, Spivey had claimed to be sick with COVID and submitted a fraudulent note as proof. So when officials heard of the suicide note, there was immediate skepticism. I know. I, yeah. This guy, this guy, too this guy this charged too with 70 smart. felonies could have lied. <laughs> I, knew it. I fucking knew it. Loris is a town in Horry County, South Carolina. Great. <laughs> and I, God damn if, it. if y'all live in this area, please tell me how it's pronounced, but it's H O R R Y. So I'm calling uh-huh. that Hori. Yeah. Uh, so who founded the county, by the way? I can, you know what? I could see it being like worry, like a like a Worcester kind of a thing. Oh, worry, hurry, Wh- hurry, like, hurry, you know hurry county. Worry, yeah, worry county. Mm-hmm. Well, where they drink water. I could see that happening <laughs> out of the creek. Yeah. it wouldn't be right, but I could see that happening. <laughs> they wash their clothes. They wash their clothes in the water in Hori. <laughs> so Come down here to, 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 to w- w- what's it? Hori. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it, makes it, 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 it makes it worse because the town is Loris. Lori and Hori County. Uh, <laughs> Lori, Hori County? Like, yeah. is this a Richard Scary book? <laughs> so, just come on down to the house down in Loris. <laughs> so, uh, Loris is a town in Hori County, which is only 20 miles south of Chadburn. So, this is 20 miles away from the town okay. where he's wanted okay. for all these crimes. The Watson's Place Apartments is located on the south side of Loris in between two retirement facilities, the Oaks of Loris and Hope Arbor Senior Center. Ooh, You're sharing this for a reason. Hell. That one, that that second one, that, that's <laughs> hell on earth. I can guarantee with a yeah. name. Like, that's... One of those old folks' homes is kind of nice, and the other one is just disgusting. <laughs> oh, yeah. So it was here at the Watson's Place Apartments that at 12.45 a.m. on February 24th, Columbus County Sheriff's officers entered the home of Brenda Rowell, Spivey's aunt. They'd gotten a tip that Spivey might have faked his own death and was now hiding out at his aunt's house in Loris. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> the cops did not find Spivey in the house, but they did find him behind the house, alive and trying to hide, submerged in a creek next to a retention <laughs> pond. <Yeah. laughs> so they have like a straw in his mouth. Yeah, it did a freaking cartoon. <laughs> it didn't say, but it was a cartoon. Oh, I was like, this is straight. Like he it's was a little rascal's plot. Yeah. yeah. So he like he was like, oh shit, they're here, and jumped out a back window and ran. And I looked at the well, Google Maps, and there's did, this retention did one pond. One of the cops searching play with his marbles and just shoot one in the air, and did it fall into the little <laughs> little straw <laughs> yeah he's just sitting there like don't mind me i'm just a frog yeah <laughs> uh, i was just like you're not david blaine you can't hold your fucking breath for 10 minutes i see you <laughs> what you've just oh seen God. is magic <laughs> so uh cops i'm not him <laughs> just, oh oh I'm our a, mistake hey, i'm a different guy in the creek in february <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. i'm not him at all uh so See, you're looking for the guy in your your place. I'm over <laughs> 20 miles away. Do I look like a police chief? <laughs> <laughs> Don't answer that. 
<laughs> so uh, they shine a flashlight on him and he yells that he would have to shoot the cops if they tried to capture him and he took no. off running. What? <laughs> and so after a very, sh- everything I read described it as a very short chase through the woods, <laughs> Spivey was tackled and arrested once again <laughs> and uh, his bail is now set at $5 million. Wow. Uh, <laughs> which is what it should have been in the first fucking right. place. Why, is, wow. why does he even get a bail? That's what I was They're also thinking. to go on the run. <laughs> One, why does he get a bail? And, uh, uh, <laughs> now, granted, I'm answering my own question because he got caught to begin with, but if you're going to fake your death, you got to at least leave the state, yeah. right? Yeah, look, I, I was going to say the same thing. And you look at this. Oh, we'll we'll yeah. put this picture online. No one was more surprised than he was that he got caught wow. uh, based on this picture. Did he used to have longer hair? Do, did he do something to change yeah, his I was appearance? Just no, he say, just he just like, has the beard. Shit. So his, he's, so three days he, worth of, of scratch. He's still got the copiest cop haircut you yeah, can imagine, yeah. but uh, he's got the he's got the beard. So like, yeah, put they put on a hat, buy yeah. a wig. <laughs> <laughs> At least do the glasses go get, go and get, nose and mustache. Yeah. You know? go, go to a fucking uh, spirit Halloween. Yeah. Go, get yourself, go get yourself a shitty Ellen DeGeneres Oh, that's wig. not him. It's Dracula. Yeah. <laughs> Dracula oh, didn't, no. isn't the man that's, we're looking for. I, that's Ellen DeGeneres. That can't possibly be. <laughs> so the, uh, that's col- just a man in a Conan O'Brien mask. <laughs> just a rubber mask. Yeah, just a rubber mask. Just the rubber baby mask. <laughs> just, oh, there we yeah. go. The, the realistic the baby. Yeah, 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 yeah the realistic yeah. baby mask. Yeah. Uh, That's so, just an overgrown baby. <laughs> it's upset. <laughs> it's in the water. Of course, get it out yeah, of the water. Get, get the, oh, that cold baby out of the water. <laughs> get that cold baby that cold out baby. of the water. That reminds me of my favorite deep thoughts uh, by Jack Candy, which is what would convince a regular person to jump into an icy river to save a solid gold baby. Uh, <laughs> perfect joke. Uh, the Columbus County Sheriff's <laughs> Office said uh, more than sixty-four thousand dollars in taxpayer money was spent on the three-day search. Uh, Sheriff Jody Green wants. Spivey and well all of spent. those and all of those who are accused helping him uh, to pay the money back quote time and equipment used to investigate this elaborate ruse if you will orchestrated i love this the fucking small town a little bit of a, a ruse if you will elaborate ruse. Uh, so uh all it, these people are on pills <laughs> Yeah. That's the other thing. It's a bunch of pillheads chasing each other around yeah. this county. No, they still have the same problems as this guy, but yeah. they just got promoted now. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, he says, uh, this elaborate ruse, if you will, orchestrated by Anthony Spivey and his band of misfits, he said, <laughs> please know that I am seeking restitution from all these defendants. And, and I seek restitution. So, uh, speaking of the band of misfits, the guy that I talked about earlier, he was standing there being like, he was like a son to me. Dean Sasser, uh, uh, he and his wife, Debbie Sasser, were arrested for obstructing justice, and both are being held under a $100,000 bond. So those people are his accomplices, and apparently what happened is uh, they showed up, and they're like, okay, this seems like bullshit, because uh, you know when you shoot yourself with a twenty two, there's usually blood, yeah. and then you don't just disappear into the water like yeah. you're gonna your corpses will eventually they float up bloat and, float. and float yeah yes. so this was ill conceived from the beginning he never saw twin peaks did he no no you gotta you gotta weigh yourself down He's if you can do all that to yeah. pay attention <laughs> <laughs> but basically uh the way they figured it out was he tried they, to weigh himself with catalytic converters <laughs> <laughs> They uh, they reviewed security footage and saw him and this dude like driving out of there. Uh-huh. And like I said, when we talked about this with Nat, like I'm not a cop, but I've seen a lot of movies. He had a three day lead. Yeah, he could have gone. Yeah. You got so far anywhere. anywhere. He could have really gotten so far. Even in just a car, could have gotten so far. Especially away. if he's got this guy driving him. Three just days, he would have gone to the other side of the U.S. Mexico. Yeah, go to go Mexico. Like that. Go Canada. Like that the one, border. Uh, Any border. Yeah, that one astronaut lady. Go to a store. Get yourself a Depend and drive. And, yeah, yeah. yeah. And drive yeah. until you're out of you gas. You know what? The Depend is just a formality. You can shit, just and shit piss yourself. And, yeah, just shit. You know, you're starting a new life. Just shit your pants. Yeah. You're gonna need new pants anyway. Yeah, You've been seeing. In new them. pants. Shawshank Redemption, 25th hour. There's a million things to watch and know how to get away with this, but yeah. he went 20 miles from his home. He got this dude. He's like, Can you do me a favor and drive me uh, an extremely reachable distance from the crimes <laughs> that I did? Again, at chief. least yeah. leave the state. And furthermore, could you please drive me to my mother's sister's house? I'm glad he yeah, was yeah. in charge of the police. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. He can really think like a criminal, you know, and yeah. solve all those crimes. But yeah, so he went 20 miles away. The reason I included that detail about the two retirement homes being on the other side of this uh, mm-hmm. uh, apartment building is because I was like, well, who tipped them off? And there's a really good chance that, you know, a lot of people 
probably could have done it. But just on a very simple level, a 36 year old man entering a place that's just nothing but old people. Yeah. How is that not? That's a big red flag. It's one of the old people, I think. Yeah. Got Are you Gales, boy? Yeah. Yeah, right, yeah. yeah. You know, th- they would always inqu- they would be like, who I like, I've, I've visited my folks when they lived in another community, and they're like, now whose son are you? You know, that's. <laughs> <laughs> they all want to talk to they you. All and want you can just see this guy. No one has ever talked to them. And <laughs> right. like, oh, a person from the outside. <laughs> yeah. And he's all fucked up on Xanax. Yeah. Just being like, not now. <laughs> They're like, hey, why don't you see you on the news? Well, there's no yeah. reason to also, be abrupt. <laughs> all, all old people do is watch fucking local, local news. Local news. Yeah. 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 seen his picture a thousand <laughs> fucking times. Yeah. It's like stepping yeah. in a fucking anthill going to a place with a bunch of old folks. So this, if you're this guy. Local news, Fox News, Bosch, and Reacher. <laughs> That's all they watch. Yeah. That is yeah. all they watch. <laughs> So I got I got kind of curious about uh, Dean Sasser, the guy who's uh, on the video uh, crying about his friend who was mm-hmm. then you know assisting him in escaping. And the Academy Award goes. To uh, yeah, exactly. And he's not bad. I got to say, like yeah. I was like when I still thought he was dead, I was like, damn, this old man really cares about this guy. And the whole time he knew. Who, where do you think he learned it from? Uh, yeah, that's mm-hmm. true. He learned from the best, uh, at least the best <laughs> he in Chad. Watching you, you, fake dad. Dad. <laughs> <laughs> dad, if that's your real name, <laughs> if that is in fact your, your true. Your, identity <laughs> uh but i looked at dean sasser's uh, facebook page i found it and uh his one of his more recent facebook posts is a meme that's uh from the bible and it's meant to be xenophobic oh, it's meant to be xenophobic but it sort of works for the situation uh deuteronomy 28 43 uh which is the foreigners who reside amongst you will rise above you higher and higher but you will sink lower and lower they will be the head and you will be the tail all these curses will come upon you they will pursue you and overtake you until you're destroyed okay number one, <laughs> no, number one is that all that two th- there's a problem with this yeah, uh, more there's spe- more than spe- two things here. there's more than there's, a, there's more than two things but the things that pop up immediately to me the, you're talking to a, a christian that hates the american church number one deuteronomy it's a letter made written for a very specific people that's one for the duties for, Duty. yeah, for the duties uh, uh, number two i'm <laughs> stoned <laughs> over here now. Yeah, yeah. i'm now just high and laughing at the word duty <laughs> <laughs> it's a funny and, word. And the second one, that's not condemning foreigners. That's just saying, look, you guys fucked up, so you get to lose your land. Sorry. Right. You know, <laughs> that, it, it, it's not blaming the foreigners and being like, beware the foreigners. It's just saying, nah, you, well. you, you done sucked and fucked up. <laughs> right. That's on you. But it's perfect. <laughs> and I sucked and fucked my way up. <laughs> <laughs> but it's sort of perfect for this guy because it's oh, like, it yeah, you, perfect for him. Yeah, 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 you, yeah, you let the snake in the garden, my man. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. now you're fucked. You knew I was a snake when you brought me in. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, oh. shout out to Chad Burn. Hopefully uh, this guy stays locked up and we don't have to <laughs> keep going yeah. on this. But I was like, I can't not do a follow up when a guy fakes his own death and is hiding, God. hiding, what in, a, mean? hiding Listen, in a lake. Rivers, everything comes in threes. <laughs> Amazing. He's going to, he is going to fake his death in jail. Yeah. That's, that's, that's ultimately what's next. Ooh. Ooh. Mate, mm, whoa. Mm. No, we'll see. Ooh. We'll see. We'll, we'll be following it. And I'll be reading the uh, Columbus County News. So at again, least, at least we got to got to read what happens during the trial. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jefferson Weaver here for I was just live say, what was at his the spot. Jeremy Whitaker. No, 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 Je- no Jefferson, Jefferson Weaver. Weaver. Jefferson Weaver, <laughs> the most noble senator, <laughs> Jefferson Weaver from 1809. But yeah, that's the news from Chadburn. A most fun. noble senator is, most a, is a noble, great name for a play. I want, <laughs> most noble senator Jefferson Weaver. That's been a new fun game that I've been playing with myself. Most noble like senators and <laughs> finding uh, just in sentences, you're like, oh, that that would be a really that's a great name for a terrible play. <laughs> it's like, so I don't know how the sentence came. I was talking with somebody at work the other night, and they just said, you know, there's just too much purple in the valley, and I was like, uh, too much purple in the valley is a <laughs> it's a great awful play. <laughs> wow, what a yeah, God, what a, a wait, what, what does that I mean there's too much I purple ju- I, I, it was some i cannot for the life of me remember why that sent because it struck me as a what the fuck are you what are talking, you talking about? about someone was but an angry also, stoner that was looking at too much purple but also what a what a, a great name for bad, a bad one play. Man, it is, it is. one man show yeah, 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 yeah. i was gonna say that's a great name for like a bad one man show starring like uh uh john crier or something <laughs> 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 taking a serious turn yeah yeah, yeah. pretty in pink too too much yeah. purple in the too much <laughs> there it is. Police and thieves in the streets. Oh, yeah. Fighting the nation with their bones and ammunition. Police and thieves in the streets. Oh, yeah. Scaring the nation with their bones and ammunition. 
I put this up on uh, on Twitter at the Goods Pod. Uh, I stole it from somebody, but I can't remember who. But they had way more followers than me, so I don't care. Uh, mm-hmm. But it was just a uh, it was a little uh, image that said, uh, you know, top three. Ask me, you know, top mm-hmm. three on different topics. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. I see that trending. Yeah, ask me my top three. So I hit up our uh, our listeners. Uh, let's let's do a couple of these. Uh, they we got a shitload of them, so we can keep this going for uh, for a couple weeks here. But I'll just uh, run through a couple. I would shout out uh, first off. I think this will be a fun one. So we can go around, give us your uh, top three. Uh, this one is from uh, at There's No Josh, the There's Nobody Here Named Josh podcast, listening up in the Great White North. Top three Canadians. Mm. Eric Barnes. Whoa. Bret Hart, number one. Okay, yep, fair. That was. <laughs> it's always going to be Bret Hart. Uh, number two, Wayne Gretzky. Okay, all right. He's a Pride, Pride of Edmonton, yes. Yeah. Pride of Edmonton. And uh, mm, Dudley Do-Right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's there we go. Fun. Always gets Ooh, his man. That's that's a really fun one. Mm-hmm. Oh, God. Uh, Celine Dion. Oh, oh that's a good one. Hey, uh, now we're talking. The Drag Queen Brooklyn Heights. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I question her name, but well, she she started dragging in New York. So. Oh, okay, all right, Alex. Uh, Alex is from it. Toronto, uh, and Catherine O'Hara. Okay, oh, yeah, all right, all right. yeah, mm-hmm. I dig that. Mm-hmm. Sam, who do we got? What are you thinking? I like Wayne Gretzky. He said that. That's a good answer. Hmm. What else? I don't fucking remember. I don't know who's from fucking anywhere. Well, yours is obviously not Drake. I know you're not a, oh, no, you're not not a Drake, Drake guy. Oh, Mike Wolverine's Myers. Good. Oh, Mike Myers. Mike is Myers. Good. There's a bunch of celebrities from <laughs> Jim Canada. Carrey. Jim yeah. Carrey. Jim Carrey's Canadian. Yeah. Gene Levy. Virtually everyone from SCTV. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Rick Moranis. Yeah. Uh, uh, all those I go with all those. Yeah, great. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Eric took uh, Bret Hart, so mm. I'm gonna just pile on that. I'm gonna go uh, Kevin Owens. Uh, uh, it's my very, my, very good Canadian. my perpetual uh, favorite Canadian, and not just because we look exactly the same. I love him too. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, he's <laughs> the fucking best. He's the shit. Uh, we did a uh, all Canada Hall of Fame episode uh, live up in Victoria a couple years oh, ago, and I mentioned Cam Neely. Uh, oh yeah. Who uh, honestly, it's not because I'm a hockey guy. It's because because of Dumb and Dumber, and he's Sea Bass. Mm-hmm. Kick his ass, Sea Bass, and uh. you know that's Cam Neely. And Cam Neely started the Cam Neely Foundation, and they're the ones who ran those comics come home specials. That's right. Which in you know back when I was you know early two thousands, they would run those during the day on Comedy mm-hmm. Central, and it was the first time I saw Patrice O'Neill and Bill Burr and like a lot of great great comics. Geraldo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the Boston yeah. comics were featured pretty heavily on there. So shout out to Cam Neely. And then uh, I was I, I, right now I'm at a I'm at a crossroads, but I'm I think. I'm gonna go Shania Twain because uh, oh, uh, nice. you know Queen of Canadian Country. Yeah. I don't think anybody fucks mm-hmm. with her in that title. Yeah, yeah, Still don't impress right. me much. No, no, absolutely. So there's <laughs> okay. there's my. <laughs> <laughs> I've I, I've yet to investigate that as a uh, as a jam of the day. I probably should. Oh, totally. That'd be you know, so good. You know what? Another good one would be uh, "Man, I Feel Like a Woman." I think would be. Oh yeah. Bow, bow, yeah. I think you. I think you'd you'd see a lot of. Uh, I, I think honestly, a lot of positive things going you on. Probably would. <laughs> <laughs> I think there'd be like a lot. Of, I feel like there'd be a, a nice amount of uh, normally toxic straight <laughs> men in comments being like. You know, every time I put this song on, I feel like I get in touch with my feminine side, and I love the woman in it. I was watching. A I'm co- not gay, but I'm not <laughs> there's gay. a lot. Then, oh. But this song, whenever it comes on, when I'm driving down the freeway, I f- I fire it up. This, this was up next after that corn video I saw. <laughs> <laughs> a pretty good song. This one, uh, actually, we mentioned him earlier. Uh, our friend uh, Narado Moore, listening in Birmingham at love Rod it. for short. Top three songs about cocaine. Oh, cocaine shit. Uh, <laughs> white lines that, that was yeah. that was uh yeah white lines um again cocaine grandmaster flash <laughs> and the furious five uh, viva and, the white girl the gym class heroes love mm, that. I in love, that love with the coco can't feel my face yeah, like that one. one the weekend champagne uh, cocaine and strawberries by tat that's a fun song Every young Jeezy song. Yeah, I was about to say. I, well, I forget the title, but the uh, 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 riding my train. High oh, Casey Jones Thank by you, the Casey Grateful Jones. Dead. Thank yeah. you. It was going to drive me nuts. Uh, now, my uh, my number one uh, that I was immediately uh, came to mind was uh, Kilo by Ghostface Killer. Uh, that's good. That was probably. To the circa 2005, whenever Fish Scale came out, that was probably my most listened to song in our uh, sophomore year apartment. Just they, yeah, he has a bunch of songs about blow. That's too. true. He has a whole two records out of it, Fish Scale and More Fish. So and both yeah. about dealing coke. Does Blinded by the Light count? Uh, 
Does I it? mean, it was featured. It was featured in the movie Blow. Okay, but, yeah. You know, I don't know. I don't know. I, I was gonna I, say I. I don't really know songs about Coke, but I yeah. have songs I associate with. Yes, coke, like exactly. Like doing exactly. Coke, then I'm yeah. like, yeah, that, the that feels like a very coke coke song. To the ground. <laughs> like most disco feels very cokey. Oh yeah, yeah. Don't leave me this way. Just like no. anything, for, like anything from Donna Summer's solo career, like. It's yeah, just like yeah, that feels like a good cocaine I mean, song it's, to me. It, it's not about cocaine, but Chop Suey by System of the Down reminds me. Of Sounds it. like it. Yeah. Very, it. They're at least on cocaine. Yeah, doing yeah. It. Ace of Spades by Motorhead. That's yeah, yeah, cocaine. Yeah. Actually, yeah. it's going to be a long night by Ween, which is basically a Motorhead mm. uh, kind of uh, rip off. Uh, also, uh, and then uh, uh, that smell by Leonard Skinner. Too much coke, too much smoke. The smell mm. of death surrounds so you. You can destroy Metallica. Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> so someone make a Spotify playlist of all the yeah, shit we just yeah, said. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it seems pretty good. Uh, here's one I can uh, literally sink my teeth into at underscore Jess W A Fixins side items that mm. you might find at a barbecue or soul food restaurant. Oh, so soul food restaurant. You're talking oh, macaroni shit. and cheese. You're talking collard greens. You're talking broccoli casserole. These oh, these sorts of things. Potatoes. Mashed, mashed potatoes. potatoes. Number one. Yeah, and we can extend this out to like a Thanksgiving situation. Yeah. Fick, you know, turkey and all the fixes. Stuff and yeah. Oh, god damn it. Like that's then now you're you're making me like this this is my Sophie's choice of like <laughs> hey f- hey fat fuck what <laughs> foods do you like the most? Oh, oh. All of them. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, um, I like I like a good succotash. I suck at that. I'm gonna yeah. have to. You have to be specific with it because it's like there's a difference between yeah. like go like fix fixings at a barbecue and then fixings at Thanksgiving. Like, right, that's right. Yeah, that's yeah, true. Well, categories so of food. well, there. I, I was gonna southern. say. Well, 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 okay. I'd see, I'm coming from the south, so they those blend together oh, pretty yeah, pretty no, seamlessly where yeah, I'm at. Yeah, come on, New York City Italians. That's true. Jews. Oh like, yeah, that's not gonna oh, be mixed. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Like Thanksgiving up there is literally like what you would see in Thanksgiving on TV, like on a yeah. fake Thanksgiving. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Whatever the 50s taught white people Thanksgiving <laughs> should have is what we have. So according to Charlie Brown, popcorn and toast? So when I... <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, so if we're if we're going like uh, Southern barbecue, let's say I'm a mashed potatoes slut. Yeah. So let's say mashed potatoes uh, with the uh, with the brown gravy on there. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, of that's course. With, yeah. Obviously. Yeah, obviously. That's without question. Um. Uh. I love a good coleslaw. I really do. Wow. I love a col- or any kind of like that, like potato salad, coleslaw, macaroni salad. Yeah. It's all in that same category mm-hmm. for me. So it would be one of the whichever of those three things is at the thing I'm going for. Yeah. Guess what, buddy? If we uh, go to a barbecue place, you're getting mine too. Great. Oh, <laughs> fantastic. Whenever I'd go to diners with like like late night at friends, they always just put the coleslaw on the table. I'm like, great. I'll take it. I'll take everybody's fucking coleslaw. <laughs> a little salt, uh, some pee on there. Fuck yeah. Um, I love cabbage. Um, <laughs> and then I gotta say, I am a huge fan of baked beans. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Yeah. Beans with, good. with with barbecue specifically. Oh yeah, yeah. And yeah. that's yeah. Well, so down south, uh, they've got uh, a restaurant that is commonly referred to as a meat and three. Mm. So you pick, you know, either fried chicken or meatloaf, a meat, and then three sides. So based on that, my most frequently gotten uh, fixins for the three fried okra with a fucking okay, bullet know, i've literally yeah. never had okra in my life so oh I, yeah oh buddy no idea buddy we got one of those things and i'm like yeah i can't Ooh, wait to try it sometime it. fried we okra is it. uh i mean you know like anything uh, but like you know. i try so like <laughs> yeah. i want to try it, but it's like i want to try it because i know it's like one of those uh like polarizing foods people either love it or hate it oh uh, man so i want it to be i don't want to like get it at a restaurant or something i want it to be like in a home cooked like something like you got to get it at somebody a restaurant. that i try it'll be better like i try i honestly trust you because of the food that i've had that right right I'm like, yeah, yeah. oh, I trust your cooking. All right, well, like, okay, night, well, this will taste good at least. Guess what? Night, next time you're on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it. I'm Hell gonna make yeah. it. Hey. We'll, uh, we'll wash it down with some unspeakable and godly concoction. Great. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, my number one mm-hmm. always. If that's on the menu, fried okra. I'm a big black eyed peas guy. Mm-hmm. Okay. And and then the, oh, man, it uh, the macaroni and cheese is a big sticking point for yeah. me, particularly here. So I've I've said this before. The fixins, the side items at a barbecue place have to have at least as much importance put on them as the barbecue. And Agreed. people do not and put importance on their mac and cheese enough. Th- no. I, you know, That's, by, by the way, the reason that I skipped it, that I'm like, yeah. I wouldn't get the mac and cheese unless I've heard that 
Right. Oh, the yes. mac and cheese at this place is a must. And exactly. Like, okay, then I'll get because, it. Because it's either going to be the most amazing thing you ever had or snot It's noodles. just whatever. Dry yeah. fucking bullshit. Yeah. yeah. It's a, Flavor lit. Like, it's either dry or just so wet. Yeah. Cheese where? Right. Like, you, so, there's no cheese flavor in yeah. it anywhere. Uh, yeah. the, I, I, my gold standard for mac and cheese and anybody, if you're ever traveling from Atlanta to New Orleans or Montgomery on I-D5, get off at exit 51 in Auburn. It's literally on the exit. Panny George's Kitchen. That's who owns it mm. lady named Panny and That's her husband George. Queen, love that. Right? Yeah. Panny George. Yeah. Panny oh, George. Yeah. I would love if there's a local drag queen out there in that area who goes by Panny George. That'd be Panty George, fucking yeah. sick. Oh, oh I love that. I, I actually met uh, one of the people who does the drag shows in Auburn. I'll, uh, I'll slip that along because no, yeah, people would lose their... There's somebody around there named Panny George. People would lose their great... fucking minds. I want a strip club slash barbecue good... place called Panny George. I now. love a good like, a drag... very hyper local reference. Of a drag... <laughs> like, I'm mad that I've I've dropped this name into the LA drag community a hundred million times, hoping it would crop up somewhere, but nobody's yet named themselves Dorothy Chandler Pavilion. <laughs> <laughs> I put it out there somewhere. I'm like, come on. You, oh a, God. A, a, like an L, like a musical theater kind of queen. Yeah. Like, yeah. like a fucking very Bette Midler. Opera stuff. singer. Dorothy perhaps. Chandler Pavilion. She comes out with the, with the Viking helmet and shit. I don't, ha- I don't have the best drag queen name for myself, but it's mine and it's Regina Sex Have. I like <laughs> Regina Sexav. <laughs> okay, I like this it. should be a top three. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, top three. Yeah, top three drag names, uh, real or ones that I'll make up right in here, right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, number one, Regina Sexav for me. There we uh, go. Valor in Iraq. <laughs> <laughs> Valor in Iraq. That's not mine. That's, uh, that's friends. That's out incredible. There. Yeah. Coca-Cola Starlight. Yeah. Oh, two, two, <laughs> I, no, uh, two liter Pepsi is oh, a like, oh, like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah, if it's Pan- <laughs> if pa- if it's Panny George's, uh, then you go mac and cheese. If it's anywhere else, uh, go you know I'll, I'll go collard greens just because uh, you know Cracker Barrel corporate as it is. They've never been to a Cracker the, Barrel either. That's, what? I oh my god! Yeah, I, that, that's I know. Right. I know, you, I know, I know, I know. We are get, going to Victorville. Uh, yeah, I was gonna, we, we yeah. don't even have to go to Victorville. They got one in Camarillo now. Oh shit! Oh, well, cool. fucking goods road trip. Please. I was gonna say. Oh, let, yeah, yeah, let's, yeah, yeah. I really want to. Let's, I, I know it's gonna be like a very middling experience, but I love a chain. I mm-hmm. am somebody who loves a chain. Let's hit up. Let's hit up Jorge. Let's get a yeah. show in Oxnard. <laughs> And, oh, the, go. and on the way there, well, that's the great thing about it. Even if the no. show is bullshit, eh, they got the, we got to eat Cracker Barrel. No, man. Yeah, we'll we, go we get Cracker Barrel and I'll shit my we, pants on the freeway. No, home. I was about to. I was about to we, night. We, yeah, happen. we got to hit it on the way back because we will be no good for the show. No. We'll be we'll, so, it's like Oxnard. It's Oxnard. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, I, will, I, will, I will be. No, I will shit. want to nap. Fuck you, Ox. my problem. fucking onion farmers. The last time we went to Oxnard, last time I went to Oxnard, there's video of it. And a podcast of it. that woman who God, almost yeah. hit me because I was filming her in the parking lot. Yes, line. yes. No. What? <laughs> oh, yeah. She was, in the sh- she was in the bar with, like, no shoes. She was fucking Fuck me. heckling the whole time. Just not even heckling, just, like, trying to have a conversation with anyone because yeah. she's so drunk. Yeah, that's uh, LA, LA Comedy Life on YouTube. Actually, I'll put it up on Twitter so people can see that. But, yeah, The Road to Oxnard. We recorded a podcast on the, on the oh, drive yeah, that's up. that's true. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but, yeah, let's see. Let's do, let's uh, do another one. Let's do one more. Let's do one more. Let's see. I'm not sure. Did I do my top three? Oh, yeah. Well, oh, yeah. Or, I think, uh, or maybe. Oh, uh, yeah, the yeah, I, I, yes, foods. and yes. some some stuff. Uh, mashed potatoes, definitely, just because I'm a potato whore. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> French fried potatoes. And the starch scallop fried. potatoes. <laughs> a, a starch slut. A starch it? slut. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll just keep it at that. I yeah. guess. <laughs> God, I love macaroni salad so much. It's good. Oh. <laughs> okay. This one is from at YLD82, Yorgo D. SNL musical guest performances. Oh, I got you. I got you right off That's the top. That's a fucking... And oof. these are not in any way special. They're just ones I really like. Yeah. There's one from... it's. I think it was Bjork's second time when she was doing the, the Volta album. That was Scarlett Johansson was the host with Bjork as a musical guest. <laughs> there was... Uh, I loved the Heim performance where it was um, the guy from Hunger Games was the... Oh, the young guy from Liam? Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. no. The other Josh Hutcherson? There yeah. you go, that one. He was the host. And then the uh my last one I know these are all like m- more modern there was one where Miley Cyrus did an acoustic cover of 50 ways to leave your lover and it's oh, wow. so good it was so good that, I, I, like I'll go and watch that on YouTube like a bunch I'll go uh, yeah, find myself he, watching that all the time I I typically don't like to put music in my comedy and comedy in my music unless it's weird Al 
Mm. Um, <laughs> and so I usually skip the musical performances, but the ones that I recall offhand, uh, I loved watching the Foo Fighters whenever they would play because they oh, were just fine. happy to be here. Yeah, sure. You know, they're always enthusiastic. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I like The Weeknd just for the meme. Ladies and gentlemen, The Weeknd. The Weeknd. <laughs> <laughs> Like he, like it's clear he's tired. He wants to go to bed. He's so excited to go home. He has like a, the weekend. <sighs> the weekend. Um, and uh, Ashley Simpson, where she oh, fucked oh, up. Classic. Yeah, yeah, and did the oh, little jig. Did the, the little jig. Yeah, yeah. There we oh, go. Man. Oh, and uh, bonus, the Elvis Costello when he, you know, said fuck off to. Uh, oh yeah, oh yeah, and, and also we Sh- count Paul- Sinead O'Connor. <laughs> yeah, 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 you have yeah, to yeah. include that. If you don't yeah. include yeah. that, yeah, 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 you're a psycho. That's what I say. What you got sam i like all the ones where the people got kicked out and banned <laughs> yeah i was gonna say yeah. like Ten Thousand maniacs uh, and fucking the replacements uh, oh. Uh, oh rollins band was good because um, i did remember seeing them oh, yeah. oh wait, go, go ahead sam. cypress hills lit a joint on stage nice yeah, yeah. yeah. got kicked out uh rage against the machine hung a communist flag on their right. way, sam. <laughs> oh that. my god yeah <laughs> and Hell i think yeah. maybe one or both of those was supposed to do a second performance but was kicked out yeah uh, yeah yeah yeah, oh, yeah 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 yeah, I forget which one that is too, but I definitely. I wouldn't be surprised if all of those were like, "Yeah, we're going to skip that one." <laughs> <laughs> They're just going to be one and done. I uh, I love the the replacements uh, story because they showed up incredibly drunk, as you might imagine, right. and just destroyed the backstage. And then when they were supposed to be singing "Kiss Me on the Bus," Paul Westerberg was very pointedly singing "Kiss Me on the Butt." Yeah, I was about <laughs> to say "Kiss Me on the Butt," <laughs> which Absolutely. is exactly the maturity level of that band. It's like mm-hmm. the fact that <laughs> the most childish people on earth made some of the most like emotionally beautiful music of the 80s is always hilarious to me uh but uh no i'm gonna go uh i'm gonna go i'm gonna go down backwards all right number three it's controversial kanye west uh when he busted out the first two singles from eight, mean, 808s yeah he did heart know. he did love yeah. uh love lockdown and heartless it's honestly not fucking i don't think that's a controversial statement at all no. oh, like no. that's that's the golden era of good like when well, yeah that was well and i want to say kanye west has done a beautiful job this past couple weeks of uh fucking up any goodwill that he might have had coming no, off of that netflix so, documentary so bad because right that now. netflix documentary like i was like it's fucking amazing it looks really really well made it's, I was like, oh, maybe I'll watch this. It's amazing, and you, it sort of, you know, proves what we all suspected, which is like he's always been that guy, but his mom really was the only the, that person was, that could keep him that in was check. The turning point. Aww. And so, anytime they're showing his mom, you're just like, man, she seems like the coolest lady <sighs> yeah. on earth. And it's really, and then meanwhile, in real time, in 2022, you're like, oh, buddy, you, this is the week someone should have taken your phone away because everyone's on your side right now if they're watching Netflix. Yeah, yeah. yeah so uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I was on TMZ this morning. Shot discussing uh, hell yeah. discussing Yay. the fact that Kanye is trying to fight the prenup they had <laughs> But there's actually nothing really he's fighting. He's just kind of like prolonging the divorce. Right, yeah. 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 Just making him look like a fucking psycho oh even more. God. God. Oh, buddy. Fucking Oof. dickhead. Yeah. That's my number three. Number two, uh, just because it was it was awesome that they let him do this. Uh, the recent uh, David Byrne. Where oh, yeah. He was doing the American uh, Utopia. He was stuff. doing the Broadway stuff and he, they let him do uh, Once in a Lifetime. And, he's, and then they did Toe Jam. And they did Toe Jam. Yeah. And he's just fucking killing it. He's in his 60s and motherfucker. You, know, you I haven't watched that yet out there, by the way, on HBO. Yeah. Watch David Byrne's American Utopia. Uh, it's ooh, it's a beautiful. Brilliant, brilliant. Uh, but yeah. And then number one easy is paul simon and george harrison doing here comes the sun together Ah. and paul simon is he's in his uh he's got the bald uh page boy haircut going (laughs) Uh, oh boy and he's just ladies and gentlemen george harrison and george comes out and they sing here comes the sun and you're just like oh man just a fucking great and this was the era where lorne michaels was going on tv every week and going i am prepared to offer the beatles three thousand dollars to appear on saturday night live (laughs) you can split that money however you want if you want to give ringo less that's up to you uh and that was like the running joke and then george harrison fucking showed up i think they have a whole sketch of him and lauren arguing over the money and he's like no i need all four of you here so uh but yeah so that's my, that's my number one so shout out to everybody i'm gonna keep doing those because yeah, we, yeah, we got yeah. a we got a hell of a lot of those but God. uh those were fun so shout out to everybody who wrote in if you didn't hear yours this week uh we'll be peppering those in as the weeks go on i really enjoyed that yeah, so. i dig it too <laughs> where's my fucking champ here's the thing a lot of people still chant, fight, steam, fight, kill, steam, kill, all this shit. But the fact that there's even three or four people in that crowd that are booing me pisses me off. I'm Kevin Steen and I made this goddamn place. 
So who the fuck do you think you are when you buy your ticket to come sit and boo me? Fuck you. Fellas, we have time for just one more segment. Oh, boy. oh dude, oh, I, f- I found a song that we can will never do jam of the week. <laughs> oh, really? I was listening to music uh-huh. as I always do. Mm-hmm. YouTube comes up, Eminem, Superman, and I was like, oh, that probably has some hilarious comments. Nope, just violent ill will towards <laughs> oh, their no. exes. Oh my no. god! <laughs> it's just like an Eminem song, but it's like one of the more hardcore. I think he was probably uh, on drugs, going through really bad <laughs> stuff. <laughs> And it's just rough. Everything's terrible about <laughs> it. <laughs> it went from this will be hilarious to nope, can't do this oh. in about under a minute for sure. Oh. Probably under 30 seconds. Oh, I, I got to go pray. Uh, what, what is it? What is it? Uh, <laughs> so our jam of the week. So this one comes to us from that year that we just can't put down. 1999. Hell yeah. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, <laughs> it is Los Red Hot Chili Peppers with I do like this song a lot. Californication off of the like album Californication. <laughs> so what? What? Is, let's let's kind of go around because this was a I mean shit eighth grade baby. Yeah. I had this on CD. I mean this was this was the shit right here. You know can't deny it i got to see them do this live uh not with john frusciante but with the replacement guy they had for a few years but still fun uh oh, well i'm like you're like eighth grade this i'm like i was nine <laughs> so this, <laughs> this did not enter my periphery until like around high school yeah uh, okay I was, uh, I mean, that, that's i feel like when the red hot chili pepper should enter your periphery yeah. uh, right before right at the beginning of high school <laughs> right before your brain is not goo anymore yeah yeah i was a i was a sophomore <laughs> scar tissue was more my jam sure sure album, but uh those but comments yeah, were very depressing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I actually scouted Scar Tissue first, and then I was like, oh, maybe yeah, the- some songs you can't do. I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Listen, it was also, a, high school was not a fun time for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, so, uh, yeah, and this uh, this song actually does make mention. I have to acknowledge this uh, up top. This song, the, one of the lines is, uh, space may be the final frontier, but it's made in a Hollywood basement. And that line has turned this into a flat earther oh, anthem. Oh, <laughs> no. Just the one lyric. The one lyric. And so I, I, I think I have one flat earth comment on here, but I just wanted to say there were fucking thousands of That's... flat earth comments. Oh. Uh, yeah. And but also it's a song about Hollywood that mentions they're t- like they're talking about just making space movies. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. It's not a comment on yeah, the news. The like, fake this, space landing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Which, well, I mean, honestly, frickin', it's, frickin my, Stanley it's my favorite conspiracy theory. I think it's really fun. That's yeah. a fun one to do. Yeah, that one doesn't... Fake believe in your mind is real. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, oh, yeah, I believe that. I don't well, and no, then, my, like, yeah, it's a well, fun one to believe. What's funny is one of the next lines is, he says, Alderaan's not far away, and you're like, it's fucking Star Wars he's talking yeah. about. What yeah. are you, yeah. stupid? Uh, my favorite conspiracy theory stupid? is... You don't know Alderaan? You don't know Alderaan? <laughs> That's Princess Leia's home planet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, looking for a woman, all the rest. You dunce. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I had to had to make that uh, uh, clear. There were lots of flat earthers on here, but uh, and that we might hit, hit one here. Oh, I love it. All right, let's get down to these comments. Uh, first up, Aches Pat from one year ago. Man, I remember waking up and hearing this blasting back in 2001, and I used to say, "Fuck, my mom is drunk." <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I was like, that is uh, flawless, yeah. flawless oh, comments. That's perfect, so, perfect YouTube comment. Whether I, or not that is real or a joke, if it's a joke, that's a perfectly yeah, real yeah. joke. <laughs> and if it's not, what a perfectly remembered memory. Oh, like, yeah. Oh, perfect. Oh, I, I, I think everybody had that friend whose mom was drunk all the time. And, you know, they uh, the one I'm thinking of. Definitely jammed out to this. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, let's see. It's Reef from... Oh, sorry. It's Reef 253 from five years ago. What's up, Reef? My hey. mom likes this band. She sang their songs at karaoke night at the bar drunk. <laughs> you know. This is a drunk mom song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then at the end, it just says... Didn't one of them die? LOL. <laughs> so, well, yeah. It's like, yeah. yeah, I think so. Maybe. <laughs> Pretty early on, Hillel Slovak, way before this record. Uh, so, yeah, official Drunk Mom anthem. Love it. Uh, Gabe Zindar from 10 months ago. Yep. 
don't Californicate my United States and keep unicorns out of my Bible, Satanist rat uh, bastards. I love, <laughs> I love that. The, I love the right wing thing where they're just taught their supporters to hate California. Yeah. Oh, there was yeah. a, they don't know anything about why yeah. they're just like fucking California, <laughs> yeah, yeah. dude. Go to Orange County. You yeah. know, <laughs> go to <laughs> meet your people. Yeah. Yeah. No. Go, go to, to San Bay Bernardino. Studio. Yeah, go to Sacramento. Yeah. Something. Go to just not Los Angeles and not. <laughs> San Francisco. San Francisco. Hell, go to San Diego. They'll love you there. They will love you in San I mean, Diego. I mean, not shocking when you lived out here for a while, but when you first moved to California, you're like, wow, San Diego, shockingly Christian. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, huh, oh, yeah. They I love don't know. It. I just never would have thought it would be such a shockingly conservative place. <laughs> I mean, yeah, the San Diego. <laughs> yeah, the military, Navy yeah, base. And oh, then that's, that's it all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's, that's it. Crash Daddy from 11 years ago. Oh, oh boy, Crash Daddy. Classic comment right here. <laughs> classic. I have tattoos older than most of you. I'm a seasoned veteran of sex, drugs, and rock and roll. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, you are, Crash Daddy. <laughs> but well, here's the thing. It's not just sex, drugs, and rock and roll. He makes that list continue. I'm a seasoned veteran of sex, drugs, rock and roll, Mardi Gras, and all things that are food for the soul. Which, by the way, happy, oh, boy. Yeah, happy Fat Tuesday, everyone. That's, that's really uh, vinyl records will always be better than your CDs yep. and iPods. Yes, sure. yep. Real men order Jack yep. Daniels with nothing in it but ice. Hold the door for all women. And, all they, right, and so. they call their mothers on Mother's Day. So this guy's poor. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Generation WTF ever needs some education in real life. Sometimes that education means a fifth and a black eye. School's in session, bitches. <laughs> This guy is just what? gets drunk and gets his ass beat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I got rolled by like some twenty year olds. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> they stole my Indiglo digital watch. This is the guy that tried um, to hustle Marissa Tomei and pool in my cousin Vinny. Oh yeah. yeah, this yeah. Guy is. <laughs> I'm into sex. I'm into drugs. I'm into Mardi, Mardi Gras. Yeah. I love going to go yeah. parades. Lo- I'm into fucking. This was 11 years ago. He is long dead. Yeah. <laughs> long dead. That's a guy. That's a guy that will literally just shut. Like anytime anybody does the whole, hey, I shut down a street for a parade. He's like parade. Yeah. <laughs> I love a parade. Hold on. Parade. He's just sloshing Jack Daniels all over his ass <laughs> t-shirt. <laughs> He does a one-man parade. <laughs> yeah, oh, one of those he has a one-man band things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Too much purple in the valley. Too much, Too much purple featuring in the hood valley. surgeon. <laughs> featuring every callback from this episode. <laughs> what, what if he was chival- now, What if he was chivalrous to women, but also very? Oh, that's the only thing he's progressive on. Like he sees a trans woman and opens a door yeah, for her. Yeah, I was just gonna say, you yeah, know. yeah, yeah. He's just like totally like, all oh, women are beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, smoke wagon from 10 years ago if the new conan the barbarian movie is made to be some <laughs> pussy ass vampire <laughs> shit i will revolt <laughs> what? that guy will came in here in a mood yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this came on right at this was the suggested video after watching the trailer yes for a yeah new well movie. with uh with uh jason momoa yes yeah. yeah well no here's the thing so around this time 10 years ago is when vivo came out and uh, you can find this like yeah. stratified layer of comments where people are pissed about vivo because i think that's when they started putting ads Mon- Monetizing it. And yeah. monetizing oh. it. And so I think an ad for the new Conan movie came oh, on, and he's true. perhaps reacting to that. Or he's just got some opinions yeah, about Conan. Crazy. I just yeah. love that he had that violent connection. I love that he had that violent reaction to such a mellow ass song. I know, right? <laughs> uh, Christine Callanan, or Callanan from one year ago. More Kalanon is for Kalanon. Uh, well, yeah. she might be Kalanon oh, too. Kalanon, Conser- take that, me that's away. Texas conservatives that moved from California, but don't want anyone to know. <laughs> uh, so one year ago, she says, "More addictive than the drugs your government makes with your illegally collected taxes." My son became violent and abusive when he got his Xbox. 
We got a drunk <laughs> mom here. We got a drunk uh, ass mom. Now he's going into human trafficking. What? I ha- what? <laughs> I haven't seen him since he was 17. Conrad Gaugler also deals drugs and guns, and I'm homeless now because of him and my demented sisters. That's it's- upsetting. <laughs> yeah. that really sad to Some of these to. are. Some yeah. of these are bad. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're bad windows into a person's life and or psyche. Yeah. 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 No. Oof. Uh, I just like the, she says, he's going into human trafficking now. And that doesn't sound like, is he, is he being human trafficked or is he a human trafficker? It's like he's I, going into it. Yeah, either yeah. way, that is yeah. very he's bad. In, he, he's inter- want... Either way, he's interning. Yeah. yeah. I was like, yeah. <laughs> Not doing well. <laughs> he's interning at human <laughs> trafficking. Well, I would yeah, assume yeah. if he sold well, guns, for the experience. he could get out <laughs> of the exposure. human traffic. Yeah. <laughs> this song will make you think deep. Oh you yeah, know? absolutely. I do love that song. I do. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's a fucking jam, man. Uh, so uh, this one is. Uh, let's see, Philip, Wy- or Philip Wildling from ten years ago. Second day back at high school after summer vacation, and in music we have to do a performance. We get to choose the instrument. Everybody usually thinks that I'm the one with no talent, so I play the bass on this. Now who's shit, bitches? Yeah, <laughs> yeah you showed them. He spent all summer slapping like Flea, and now he's back in black, baby. Now he's showing the band who the real nerd is. That sucks if you're so nerdy, even the band makes fun of you. Yeah, that's... <laughs> wow. That's, that's a level. That's a true level of outcast. Uh, Kenneth Goldman from six years ago. You not any more drunk I am. I don't like to get drunk, just mellow. Or melon, as I call it. But <laughs> this guy's an alcoholic. Oh, yeah, yeah. I like to get melon, melon. bro. I, like melon. Uh, I love how this pays off, though. He says, but sometimes drinking beer sneaks up on the melon and kicks him dead square in the arse. I hate when that happens. Yeah, yeah. So I love that he goes from saying that he calls being mellow melon to being like, no, I am the melon. I am the melon. It's like, alcohol then, has a tendency to sneak up on the melon. And then often <laughs> you overdo it. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes the thing about melons is you can roll off the counter and hit you your head. Roll off the counter. <laughs> it's Have hard ever, to put the melon and back when, together. And, and when you, yeah, when you go grocery shopping, you look at the inspect the melon for an ass. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure it's not kicked. Oh, here's one of those flat earth uh, comments. Rose Bell Carter from a year ago. This is 2020, and anyone who believes that space exists is stupid. Mm -hmm. These fools have not given us any proof that space exists apart from some CGI. NASA even said that they lost the coordinates to the moon. That's how dumb they think we are. These people are robbing from us, and that's all. The root of space and going to other planets is money. This makes sense. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm stuck on that. I'm stuck on that part. What's that? The losing coordinates to the The moon. moon. (laughs) Joe and I are... (laughs) True. I I, I didn't have time to look that up, but now (laughs) I'm curious. Yes. Well, yeah. they can't possibly coordinates be true. only exist <laughs> on a map of Earth. Yeah, I was gonna I'm say pretty sure that's the whole thing about coordinates. Yeah, yeah, the moon moves, <laughs> yeah. so it's hard to get coordinates. Is on that thing what that's you moving. mean? Like there are no coordinates to the moon because it's just a moving thing. I do, well, I don't, I don't know if the flat earthers believe the moon moves. Is a thing. Yeah, I think yeah. they yeah. don't believe the moon. In the moon. Yeah, exactly. It's a big hole in the firmament. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. I've seen yes. moon fall. I know yeah. what it is for real. Yeah. Now well, this makes sense. He doesn't understand. Because it's before Coca Cola Space came. That's true. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Now it's <laughs> proven that it's real. It's a, yeah. <laughs> space is real and it tastes lightly of raspberry. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I, although uh, the thing I like about this comment, I did finally figure out because the thing with the flat earth, I've always been like, what is the motive? Why would you hide this from us? And this is what he says He says, okay. these people are robbing from us. That's all. The root of space and going to other planets is money. Out of greed, the leaders of this country keep finding ways to take from us. So what he's saying is that the space program is a money laundering operation. There is no space. We we give okay. NASA this money and then they just okay. do stuff. Okay. We gave them to the this Nazis. This is going to yeah. sound really stupid, but like coming out of my mind, like I feel really dumb for asking this I question. I can't wait. But... Did I not read something a few years ago about like NASA just like being defunded? Like they weren't giving. Instead, now it's like space for like you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, well, they, I mean they 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 get their budget slashed all the time. Do. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. But they just must have like 
Did they cut funding to NASA a few years ago? Yeah. Or something? Okay. Well, okay. Okay. It, okay. Okay. If okay. If you want, I mean, the real, you know, more believable. I cons- remember getting mad about something involving. Wait, what? A, what happened to our space program? Yeah. Donald Trump. Right. Well, the, <laughs> we were all just getting <laughs> just mad every day yeah. like for that. whatever reason. We were all just yeah. mad every single fucking day. Yeah. I remember yeah. that being a reason one day why I was mad. It was like, <laughs> but with the the final frontier. <laughs> <laughs> well, the uh, the real, you know, believable conspiracy theory about NASA is that the whole point of the space program was to basically show Russia our big ass dick. It's like, oh, look, we can hit the moon with yeah. a rocket. Yeah, Just yeah. imagine what we could do to Moscow. Right. Was kind of the message, which I could buy that. Um, <laughs> so uh, inspiration. Sure. Inspiration was second. A second thought to demonstrating our, uh, yeah, yeah, our yeah, rocket yeah. abilities. No, no, no. Uh, yeah. Dick wagging is always the first. Yeah, absolutely. Motivation. Uh, Rame, the last faithful man. <laughs> Four months ago, <laughs> this music is the reason why I converted from atheism to real, true, in times Christianity. Oh, like, uh-oh. Oh, why? Uh-oh. Oh, oh, oh. That's that's not what the Chili Peppers wanted that when they wrote this song. Just gonna say, they just, all I they think want. you're misinterpreting the Chili Peppers. Yeah. All they wanted was for you to suck their kiss. Okay, yeah. suck their kiss and just love California. Get on top. No how ugly it is. Yeah, learn to like dirt. Other things from this record. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> got a couple more here. Seamus McQuaid from two months ago. We was doing psychedelic funk rock before you guys was. We even played with y'all a few times, but you all, uh, but you like all groups don't care about the health of music or people. It's just for you and your thing and you and your thing. You abandoned us scorned my band except for flea you came to my town and encouraged my friends my lovers to go with you and oh. get hooked on fucking heroin dude uh so this guy's le- he's leveling wow. some heady accusations at the chili peppers yeah, here yeah. saying they that stole his, clearly heard they and s- read they stole his style his freaky styley his friends his girls <laughs> his girlfriends his lovers, yes. yeah that is your contribution to my community and what do you motherfuckers do other than the neighborhood in uh, ireland yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do other than go to lakers games you know who i am <laughs> wow <laughs> <laughs> they the chili peppers do be going to lakers games that's yeah, not a lie yeah, yeah. like like this is <laughs> he hates Anthony Kiedis. I, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, the flea yeah. is cool, apparently. We'll leave this guy. Yeah. <laughs> so this is, this is the, the next line. You know who I am, and I am a genius. But I am attacked by the dark forces daily, yet I am yes. aware, Damn. utterly. You are just shooting up and having a laugh. You've gotten your names down, and it said... <laughs> Sorry, you've gotten your names down, and when it's near said and done, you will be called to reckon for what you've done to people, which is an atrocity. I choose to believe every single I know, right? I believe all of it. I I think he puts it on par with the Troubles. Yeah. 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 The Chili Peppers were like a a folk band, and then they came through Rochester, and they're like, oh my God, what is this style? This freaky style. Yeah. (laughs) We're going to steal it. We're going to steal it and get all these chicks hooked on heroin. Yeah. (laughs) Flea will be cool. Yeah, he was nice about it. <laughs> he was nice him about it. The town of Lambone was never the same. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, the IRA was trouble, but it wasn't as bad as when the Chili Peppers came to town. Oh, <laughs> doesn't, uh, doesn't the drummer look like uh, Will Ferrell? Uh, so. That wee one flea, he was a good lad, though. <laughs> <laughs> uh, TC from four years ago. I know this guy. My bitch loves some cocaine. <laughs> It's <laughs> best <laughs> opening statement I definitely of all know time. this guy. Yeah, yeah. I really do know this <laughs> oh guy. My God, that's so funny. <laughs> it's good to have eclectic taste. I listen to both this right down to some ignorant rap. Can't be stuck in the past forever. And surprisingly, this guy wins the most progressive comment we've ever read. And still uses <laughs> ignorant rap. Yeah, yeah. he loves. Yeah. I just love this how and how it starts. It's perfect. You're like, oh, this is like a crazy guy. And he's like, oh no, no, like uh, all music's good. You know, you can't uh, love whatever. Uh, I like how he uh, it, he doesn't want to turn into an old head. Yeah. Oh you know? no. He's, keep, he's yeah. keeping with it. He'll fight the dying of the light. To respect, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. 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 And he's finally, not an, he's not an <laughs> old <laughs> head on this like. <laughs> Decade and a half old song. <laughs> Coup de gras. Here we go. What is it, baby? And finally, Fig Bat Oswald <laughs> from, uh, from 10 that. years ago. Fuck you. You have to make exceptions for me. Have you read my theory? 
did you know that the last three Foo Fighters albums were all about what I discovered? And the new Chili's album, Oval Movil, will most likely be two. Would you like to know more? No. <laughs> did he leave a link? <laughs> I came up with a theory that involves the Book of Genesis, parentheses, fig leaves, Buddha, parentheses, sitting under the fig tree, Jesus, parentheses, many sayings about figs. I believe Jesus cursed the fig tree. Uh, he cursed one fig tree. Yeah. Uh, Ross, <laughs> several. Ross Horn's book, uh, parentheses, New Health Revolution, and science, parentheses, figs are the most important source of food for a fruit-eating rainforest animal. I then experimented on the figs by eating mainly dried figs for six years. Oh, and this no. motherfucker Popeye, but for figs? <laughs> Is that what yeah. He's, uh, it sure sounds like it. <laughs> oh, man, this guy's... <laughs> when I do a jig, I eat some no, fig. Now I'm... I feel bad. Now It's just because his colon is... I was about to hell. say, yeah. my blood is mostly figs. Uh, <laughs> uh, he is pooping all the I was going to say, I, ble- I bleed the stuff inside Fig Newtons. Uh, so I then experimented. But yeah, so he's, he's eaten figs for six years. And I found cycles, which related to the numbers in uh, passages 11 and 12 of the Book of Revelations. This theory has gone around the world. I suppose some people are saying that my brain is now creating natural disasters, especially earthquakes. <laughs> I don't know what to say to that. Okay, except your fig power is creating <laughs> natural <laughs> earthquakes and flooding. I don't know what to say to that except sorry, New Zealand. Funny. I what? <laughs> I read a. I bet. I, I, I did the earthquake. I, I ate too many figs, and look what happened. <laughs> I read a book the other week that was interpreted the Book of Revelations. When I look up passages eleven and twelve, it mentioned the six trumpets, seven trumpets, etc. Which were his ass. I was just gonna say because he farted seven yeah. times. <laughs> Do people realize that I've been eating figs for two thousand two hundred and sixty-one days now? Is this some kind of record? Thanks for the comments. Probably. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thanks for the comments, dudes from around the world. Keep them coming in. I have just been voted the best personality making comments on YouTube. Thanks for the honor, dudes. Well, at least he gave Man. us a thank you. And that <laughs> is Californication. Wow. And that that actually, you, you timed that out perfectly. <laughs> By wow. the wow. Red Hot Chili Peppers, oh, our wow. jam. Wow. Of the week, that was <laughs> top three Chili Peppers concerts you've ever attended. Woodstock just, '99, <laughs> <laughs> just the one that I went to at the Staples Center because Joe Rain somehow won free tickets, and I we oh, that's st- fun. He, oh, that's, that's he called me was like, hey, did you sign me up to win Red Hot Chili Peppers tickets? And I was like. No. Do you have kids or a wife you don't know about? Because that sounds like one of those things the cops send you a letter like, you got free Chili Peppers tickets. Yeah. Come to this empty storefront to get them. And then you get arrested for being a deadbeat dad. I was like, oh, well. Once but, again, forget that you can do a Joe Raines and it it's, makes me laugh. Well, my, every time. <laughs> full credit. My Joe Raines is Carter's Joe Raines. Carter's yeah, Joe yeah. It's uh, most of any, is, anything I can do. Which Carter, is sort of Mark Wahlberg, if we're being honest. Carter showed me the way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, uh, thank you guys for joining us. Uh, uh, yeah. Let's go Thanks around and we'll uh, do our plugs. Uh, Joe K, where can people find you online? Oh, on Twitter and Instagram at Joe Charles K. And then also on Instagram, follow my monthly show in LA at Avatar Comedy Show yes. on Instagram to come to our lovely show next one, March 26th at the Good Night Avatar 2 The Secret of the Ooze Ooh. with special guest. Vanilla Ice. So oh, perfect, Ooh. perfect. This. That might be a Corey Feldman situation. If you invite that motherfucker. He might actually show up. Yeah. Although I think he lives in and Florida. Then if that's going to happen, then um, Kevin might be killed in a back alley that night for yeah. whatever this is about to be. There we and, go. Well, get Suge Knight. There I'll we go. Things out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get him on work release to dangle. Yeah. There you go. To <laughs> dangle ke- either Kevin or Vanilla. Either way, it'll be hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Eric, what about you? If you enjoyed my appearance here and everything else, follow me on Twitter at Eric W. Barnes. And, uh, Follow at Wrestling PW. Yeah. Uh, Rivers and I are commentators for Wrestling Pro Wrestling out here in Southern it's California. True. It is a great comedy pro wrestling promotion. What's the YouTube for that? YouTube.com uh, YouTube. slash Wrestling Pro Wrestling. Yeah. Or think- just search Wrestling Pro Wrestling Burbank and you'll find us and watch some wacky, wacky ass TV 14 Muppet fight yeah. action. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It turns out it's kind of like naming that band exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point because yeah. Wrestling Pro Wrestling is a little hard to find, but I believe. With the exception of Twitter, which is Wrestling PW, everything else is just one word, Wrestling Pro Wrestling. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Uh, Sam, where can people find you on the internet? Twitter, Slam Harder. Um, Instagram, Slam Dot Harder. Hell yeah. 
<laughs> watch TMZ. Oh, yeah, yeah TMZ watch, today. Yeah, Sam's on Kanye TMZ. Kanye and Kim needed somebody to talk about him. <laughs> Harvey, I gotta tell, Harvey I gotta, called me up. <laughs> I have questions, but not, not for now. Like, I have off my questions. Uh, find me on Twitter and Instagram at Rivers Langley. The best way to support our show, head over to patreon.com slash thegoodspod. Going to be talking about Hell Comes to Frogtown oh, yes. this week with Fuck Rowdy Roddy yes. Piper. Uh, yes. My friend uh, Chris William out in Pennsylvania is going to be calling in for that. So uh, head over there. Second best way to support this show, head to Apple Podcasts. Uh, and also you can rate us on Spotify. Five stars, write a review, show the attitude of gratitude. Because if you do not have the attitude of gratitude, daddy, fuck you. The Goods from the Woods was recorded and edited by me, Rivers Langley. You can find our show on Twitter at The Goods Pod. Our theme song was composed by Jonas the Space Cowboy. This was a Brain Freeze podcast.